coming up next, sometimes the toughest war wounds are the ones that you can't see. We'll look at new research on veterans suffering, suffering from brain injuries long after the battle is over. This is The Early Show on CBS. In this morning's Health Watch, dementia and veterans. New research from the Alzheimer's Association finds that vets who've suffered traumatic brain injuries have a much higher risk of developing dementia. Medical correspondent Dr. Jennifer Ashton is here with more. Good morning, Jen. Good morning, Rebecca. It's often considered an invisible war wound, but a traumatic brain injury, or TBI, leaves a mark on the brain structure, forcing veterans, young and old, to face lasting consequences. I started to get really bad headaches. My speech really got slow and labored. Nick Colgan joined the Army right out of high school, serving as a medic with the 82nd Airborne, trained to treat injuries and save lives of fellow soldiers. In November of 2007, the bronze medal servicemen ended up in the middle of a firefight in Afghanistan and needing medical attention himself. A RPG, a rocket propelled grenade, hit off the right side of my Humvee. I was in the driver's seat. and. It knocked my face on the side of the Humvee. Things kind of went bright, maybe a little white for a second. On the outside, his only visible injury was a broken nose. But days later, other symptoms surfaced. I would just go down to write my name, and my name wouldn't come out. And that was a complete shocker right there. And so Unbeknownst to him, Colgan suffered a signature war wound of soldiers in Iraq and Afghanistan, a traumatic brain injury, or TBI, which is caused by a blow or jolt to the head rattling the brain. When Colgan returned from overseas, his memory loss continued to haunt him. I kind of just woke up at a DMV, like, probably 30 minutes from Fort Bragg. And like I didn't remember driving there. I had no idea how I got there. It was really scary because you don't know what's wrong with you because you look in the mirror and you look great. And then inside, you're just a mess. These invisible wounds have affected more than 200,000 service members since 2000. And a new study reports that in older veterans, TBIs double the risk for dementia. And the most common form of dementia is Alzheimer's disease. We don't understand the exact link between traumatic brain injury and Alzheimer's disease. We do know that other brain, types of brain injuries do increase Alzheimer's risk. Living each day, like a battle, it's exhausting. I'm deeply scared of dementia. I'm deeply scared of Alzheimer's. Colgan married his pen pal last September, and he's already worried about future heartbreak. Just to know that three years from now, I probably won't remember that I had a honeymoon. I won't remember how beautiful my wife was, but just to think that somebody, my wife most of all, is gonna have to take care of me, it's, it's heartbreaking because I'm supposed to be the guy out there taking care of other people. I'm supposed to be the guy out there saving lives. And here I am trying to save myself. And it's scary. It's really difficult to watch. Is there anything, uh, Jen, with a traumatic brain injury that can be done to prevent it from progressing into dementia? Well, in general, Rebecca, any injury to the brain, a traumatic brain injury, is treated with brain rest, which really means shutting down all activities that stimulate the brain and rehabilitation. At this point, there's no way to prevent a traumatic brain injury from potentially progressing to Alzheimer's disease or dementia. And Nick here tells us he looks in the mirror, he can't even tell anything is different, but are there symptoms to watch for as it progresses. Well, this is the thing with any traumatic brain injury, Rebecca. The signs and symptoms can be subtle and they can vary person to person and they can really present in a spectrum. Obviously, you can have things like a loss of consciousness. Now, obviously, if you have a loss of consciousness, by definition, you've had a traumatic brain mm -hmm. injury, but not all patients who have had a brain injury will have had a loss of consciousness. Then you can see things like headache, confusion, blurry vision or difficulty vi with your vision, fatigue or sleep changes. Again, they can can be very subtle, they can vary person to person, and they, they can present over a variable period of time. So watch for the subtle changes. Absolutely. Lastly, the Alzheimer's Association also looked at athletes, and what did they find? Right. New research done in former professional football players, Rebecca, showed that those who have had a traumatic brain injury are at increased risk for mild cognitive impairment, which therefore increases the risk for dementia and Alzheimer's, an area of hot, ongoing research. Well, I'm glad we are researching it. Thank you, you Dr. Jennifer Ash, and we appreciate it. And we'll be right back. This is The Early Show on CBS.